Okay, so this, this little nugget, this thing is freaking crazy. It's incredible. <laughs> freaking amazing, this little lens. And we're gonna talk about it in today's video. Hi everybody, my name is Zach Mendez. I am a photographer and arts administrator here in Santa Barbara, California. So as you know, I am a lover of Fujifilm. I've made plenty of videos about Fujifilm, specifically the X-Pro3, and lenses like the 90mm f2, and recently I made a video comparing the 35mm f2 with the 23mm f2. And today I want to do a proper review of this little 35mm f2 lens from Fujifilm. So where to start? Like, where do you get quality like this in this kind of package? I mean, this thing is so small and light, and yet it delivers some really incredible images. So let's talk about this. So this is the Fujifilm XF 35mm f2 WR lens. So it is a 35mm APS-C lens, meaning that on a full-frame camera, the field of view is equivalent to about a 50 millimeter focal length. This lens is an f2, so it lets in a lot of light. The maximum aperture is f16, and there's an aperture ring on the lens itself where you can change aperture. The lens is really clicky, and it's pretty nicely tightened, so it doesn't really budge very much if you were to just nudge it, so you don't really have to worry about um, accidentally changing your aperture. This lens is only about six ounces, so it's very light and very compact, as you can see, and it fits perfectly on cameras like the X-Pro3. This is an incredible balance. It's just like the perfect lens to use with Fujifilm's already compact camera bodies. So as far as build quality goes, this lens is exceptional. It's like Fuji's other lenses. It's a very premium feeling. It's made of metal and glass. It is weather sealed, so it's ready for all the elements. The lens has nine elements in six groups with nine rounded diaphragm blades, and it has a close focus distance of just 35 centimeters. It really is just a phenomenal lens to have on your Fujifilm cameras and to use for everyday purposes. I've found that it's been probably on my camera more often than any other lens I own. So image quality with this lens. Are the images sharp? Are they clear? Is the bokeh good? So I would say that yes, this is a very sharp lens. At f2, it's sharp. It does get sharper as you stop down to things like f four and f5. Um, I've shot some studio work with this lens at f8 and it's just marvelous at f8. It's super sharp. But I mean, I shoot it mostly at f2 because it's really sharp at f2 and you're getting all the light with f2, you're getting the bokeh. So let's talk about the bokeh. I think one thing that people are concerned about with these f2 lenses from Fujifilm is that they don't have great bokeh. I think people think that. And while it's true that an f1.4 lens will have more out of focus area, I think that this lens makes really beautiful bokeh, really beautiful out of focus area. It's not as much, it's maybe not as dreamy as you'll get on other lenses, but I think people forget that just because it's not as much as those other lenses, it's still amazing. Like this, the bokeh that you can get with this little tiny lens is beautiful. And I certainly love it. I think it's just enough for what I need. Now, this being a 50 millimeter equivalent on full frame, I use a 50 millimeter L lens on my Canon system. And this lens will not get you what the Canon lens will get you. It's just, it's different on a full frame camera with, with the out of focus that you're able to get with a 50 mil lens. You're just not gonna get the same with this. But again, I think that that's not to say that this lens is bad or that it can't produce out of focus area that's pleasing. Quite the opposite. I think that this is just as interesting and in many ways is equally beautiful. So I think, Really consider that, you know, how much out of focus area do you need? What look are you going for? Things like that. Don't just discount this lens because it won't get you what, you know, the 50 mil L lens will get you on a full frame Canon system. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, then please give me a like, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate 
that. Um, it's just a super simple thing that you can do, just a click to help me out. So I appreciate you guys taking the time to do that if you are enjoying the content. So the autofocus on this lens is superb. I mean, it's absolutely silent, really fast, really accurate. All of the focusing mechanisms internal, so it's not like the 35 1.4 from Fujifilm that's extending and retracting like outside of the lens itself. Everything's built in here, so you don't have to worry about pieces moving. It just, it works. It's really phenomenal. I've had no issues with, with autofocus. I don't use the IAF on Fujifilm much because I just don't trust it. Honestly, I don't use IAF on Canon all that much because I just don't trust it as much. I usually just use single point autofocus for all my cameras because I just, I know what I want in focus and with using the single point, I know that I'm gonna be able to achieve that focus. Um, so as far as IAF goes, yeah, it's fine, it, it's fine. And if you wanna use IAF, this is a great lens to do it because it works really beautifully. The focus is amazing on this lens, but um, you know, most of the time I'm using single point focus and you literally won't miss focus and it's super fast and quiet. So why buy this lens? Why buy it over Fuji's f1.4? Why buy it at all? I think, you know, if you're, if you're interested in Fujifilm and you're buying one of their, you know, interchangeable lens cameras, this is a must have lens in my opinion. The 50 millimeter field of view on a full frame camera, or in this case, 35 mil focal length on APS-C, is a focal length that I love, as I've said before in previous videos. It's a focal length that I gravitate towards because it's just versatile, right? So it's wide enough to capture scenes and environments and things like that, but it's also telephoto enough to be able to capture really beautiful portraits with really nice out of focus area. So you can use it in a variety of ways. So if you're just starting with the Fujifilm system, I think that this is a really, really beautiful lens to start with. The lens costs about $400. So it's relatively inexpensive when compared with other professional camera systems. This is just really great value for only $400. You can get this little lens that's so versatile and can do so much for you. So I would say that, you know, if you're starting off in Fujifilm and you you don't know what lens to start with, this is a great place to start. If you're considering the 35 F2 or the 35 F1.4, I think that both lenses are great. The 35 F1.4 luckily is not that much more expensive than 35 f2 although it is you know a few hundred dollars more the 35 millimeter 1.4 i think the major advantage is just that it lets in more light so if you're going to be shooting a lot in low light situations if you just prefer having a wider aperture yeah go with the 35 1.4 but if you go for the 35 f2 there are some really important trade-offs and I think one of them, you know, it's less expensive, it's weather resistant, it's faster to focus, it's a quiet focus mechanism. I think it gives you a lot of the same character or a similar character to the 1.4. Yeah, they each have their own character, but I mean, you'll get a similar character with this lens. I think that this lens has a great character all on its own. So you, you might even find that you prefer this lens over the 1.4. I don't know, maybe that's heresy and don't hate me. So in all honesty, I don't really have any drawbacks about this lens. I think for what it is, it's amazing. It's just great value. It's really functional and creates beautiful images. I really just couldn't ask for more for a lens that's this small and lightweight and cheap. You know, it's just, it's great. It's a really, really solid little piece of gear to add to your camera bag. So thank you for watching. I hope that this video has been helpful for you if you are curious about the 35 F2 from Fujifilm. Leave any questions down below in the comments. I am happy to answer and be of any help that I can here on this platform. I appreciate all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Love is free.